Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 51st episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled Grumblebee. We start this episode in Miss Appleby's class where she's handing back tests, and Billy has gotten a B on test. Oh no! Only those with top grades will be invited to join the Young Scientists of America Club, and tomorrow's the final test! Billy is so upset about this damn B. And Kim tells him to chill out because Kim gets them all the time, and Billy says, but I never do. Man, way to be a dick. Bulk and Skull mock Billy and leave. That's pretty much it. Also, Rita sees that Billy got a B on a test and she wants a B monster that stings real good. Man, she's grasping at straws here. In the hallway, the teens try to cheer up Billy and they invite him to come play basketball with them and Billy wants to study for the test tomorrow and Trini stays behind to help him. At the youth center, the two study aloud and Billy says that he got a question wrong on the test about bees. Wait. He got one question wrong and it took him down an entire letter grade. At the basketball court, the three teens are playing basketball and they talk about how Tommy is away at a karate tournament. Way to come back into the team, Tommy. Rita sees the three playing and she says that they need Goldar and Putties to engage the Rangers until the monster is ready. Why? Couldn't they just wait? There's a cool little putty fight in the park where the teens use the basketball as a prop. Goldar shows up and the putties toss a glowing yellow rope around the three. It's apparently a magic force field rope. Man, this show is cheap as hell. Goldar and the putties just disappear despite this being the perfect moment to just beat them up or pickpocket them. Zora and Alpha are apparently not watching this happen because they're more concerned about the Grumblebee monster that's appeared. They try to ring the three tied up rangers who can't reach their communicators at all. I wish they could have gone to the karate tournament too. Zoro and Alpha call Billy and Trini, telling them to come to the command center. They catch them up on everything, and Billy and Trini must fight the monster because if left unchecked, he could destroy mankind. We also get to hear Trini say, it's morphin' time! And I believe this is for the first time ever that she gets to say this. Blue and Yellow show up, and they're getting hit by stinger darts from his fingers, and Trini gets Billy to do a high kick, which he just flies into the air and lands on his back. He then sends weird sound wave attacks at them, and it causes is buzzing in their heads. The two retreat back to the command center looking for the weakness of the monster. Alpha is working on a special weapon to defeat the monster, so Billy and Trini show up to help Jason, Zack, and Kimberly. They're there for literally a second before Zordon calls again and says that it's time to fight Grumblebee again, and Billy says, we can't get them free! They didn't even try. Whatever, at least Trini gets to say it's morphin' time again. Blue and Yellow fly in, punching the Grumblebee back. Then Grumblebee spits silly string venom onto Billy and he claims it's eating through his suit. Alpha has focused his energy beam on one small spot on the rope and it frees the other three. It's morphin' time again. Putties show up and everyone fights the putties except for Billy who seems to be suffering a painful death off screen from the venom. It's okay. It's to the tune of Ron Wasserman's I Will Win. Then, Grumblebee fires those buzzing sound waves at them again, messing them up. Then, Billy runs up saying that the Venom wore off? Alpha has the new weapon ready and sends it to Billy, a laser gun with the Triceratops stamp on it. He fires it and it sprays a fire extinguisher at the monster before Rita just makes him grow anyways. The Rangers call out the Dinozords, bringing them together as a Megazord, fight the Grumblebee for a few moments before they kill him with the Power Sword. Extinction. At the youth center, Tommy walks in, a bit upset that Zora never let him know that they needed him, but the rangers assure him that he needs to conserve his powers. Also, they were stuck in a rope, so like probably not necessary to pull someone else from somewhere to do that. Billy walks in talking about how he got an A plus on the test that they apparently all took off screen, and how he got into the Young Scientists of America Club, where I'm sure he'll finally get laid. Oh, and Bulk and Skull are struggling to study, and they find out that they need to get a C on the next test, or else they're going to be tutored by the six top students of the class. It causes everyone to freak out around Bulk and Skull, which causes them to freak out and that's the end of it. This episode is okay, I guess. I loved the Grumblebee monster as a child, but watching it now, I can't for the life of me tell you why. I think I just like seeing the team divided up a bit or something. This episode is such a strange follow-up to Tommy's triumphant return when he barely appears in this episode at all. It feels like one that was meant to be shot before his return and they had to switch it around at the last second for some unknown reason. Other than that, Billy Focus episodes are generally okay, so I'm happy with it. Will next time continue to be a solid medium? Until then, may the power protect you.